Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my Manchester United the vlog playlist for season 2018 and 19. And we have a big FA Cup game coming up on the, let me check my date, 19th, not 19th, it's 18th of February 2019. It is Chelsea versus Manchester United in the FA Cup at Stamford Bridge and this is my match preview. So as you guys know the format by now I will kind of discuss uh, how I think the um, lineups will be, what my predictions are for the game and be around just discussing generals, general man night performance, the mood I think around the camp and as always um, do get involved in the comments below, do smash the like button if you're a United fan, if you're not a United fan, do smash the dislike button and let me know down in the comments below what team you follow and why are they so good. So let's get started straight away. Chelsea is not in their best form right now, I think Sarri is having a lot of problems uh, recently. I think um, in the last five games they lost two and won three. They got hammered by Bournemouth 4-0 and uh, lost convincingly to Man City not so long ago. Obviously, that is in all competitions. So, form-wise, they're not in the best of forms. In terms of United, in, in our last five games, we won three, drew one and lost one. The loss coming in in the uh, Champions League against Paris Saint-Germain or PSG. I'm just going to pronounce it PSG from now on because it's just too, too much to say Paris Saint-Germain. But as you guys and girls can see, I have got a green screen finally. So there will be, you know, behind me is a green screen actually. You know, there's some graphics in there. I'm sure you guys and girls can notice it. But uh, I'll be trying to kind of embed these sort of things into my playlist for this playlist in particular. I know there's a lot of playlists around gaming, around my um, content. But uh, the green screen is specifically for Manchester United vlogs. So I can kind of put up some pictures, some stats, etc, etc. If you feel I should be adding anything else into these videos, do let me know. As you lot know, I always, always respond to my community and even make changes according to the feedback I get from you guys. So make sure you stay involved. And um, let's see, let's, let's, let's go straight into the lineup, uh, in my predictor lineup. So, I think Solskjaer will not feel a strong team, no matter who is he playing in the cup competition. I genuinely believe it's going to be De Gea coming off. Romero will be there. Romero has played uh, all our cup games so far under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So, it's going to be Romero on, on the goalkeeper side. On the right back, um, it's going to be Diego Dalot. I think Ashley Young will be giving a rest. Diego Dalla will play on the right side. We're going to go for 4-3-3. So let's stick with 4-3-3 as you can see on, on just next to my shoulders. Um, Centre-back pairing is going to be for me Smalling and Jones. I think Bailly and Lindelof are, is our first um, centre-backs, first choice centre-backs. But we have a bit of a depth. So Smalling and uh, Jones will probably be there. Especially Jones signing a new contract. Don't know why but we signed him for another god knows how many years. Same with Ashley Young. Signed him another year. So it looks like they are staying around, they are sticking around, so they are clearly for a long-term goal or short-term goal or for the next few years at least. So it's going to be Jones and uh, Smalling for me in the centre-back position. On the left-back is a bit a bit different. I don't know what's happening with Valencia, to be honest with you. And even if Valencia was available, he will not be playing on the left-back. Obviously, he's a right-back. So Luke Shaw, I think, is not going to play this game. I reckon all he's going to give... Damien, because he's still there, he's still around. There was some expectation he will leave in the January transfer window, but he didn't, so he's still in the club. Uh, he's not too bad. He's, he's probably not a rotation player, uh, probably a backup player. And uh, to be honest, we, do, we don't have that many options, a natural left-sided um, player. Damien is not naturally left-sided, but he can do a job there, do a decent job there. He's more of a defensive um Wing back, really, or full back, whatever you want to call it. But I think he's going to be given a chance just so that Luke Shaw gets a rest because Luke Shaw played the last few games back to back. There was no rest or anything, and it is kind of saves us from injuries because we got we do have a few big games coming up over the next few weeks. PSG obviously away. We got Liverpool coming up, so they're not small games. We should be using and utilizing our squad. Uh, the three midfielders for me is going to is going to be Matish will stay. I don't believe he will come off. I think Pogba will start. 
uh, we need a big game player. Pogba it will be the player. And with the thing with Pogba, him being suspended for the PSG away leg, um, I think um, Solskjaer is going to utilise him because he's going to get a rest anyway on the PSG game. So I think Pogba will stuff to keep that creativity going, keep that dominance, keep that momentum that he's, he's on going. But in terms of Herrera, I do genuinely believe he's he's gonna be not playing. I think um, Fred will start. Uh, we haven't seen lately much of Fred. Fred, I don't know what he's been up to, where he is. He's not even making any sub appearances lately. So I think it's gonna be Fred um, in ter instead of Herrera. Herrera giving a, a bit of a rest. Now the interesting thing is the front three. I do believe all is gonna give one of the young kids a chance. Um, I don't think Rashford will play. He didn't have a great game against PSG. Uh, he ran his socks off. I do believe up front we are going to start with uh, Romelu Lukaku. So he's going to be there. On the right side, with, with the injuries of um, Anthony Martial and Jesse Lingard, obviously Alexis Sanchez and Juan Mata automatically becomes our sort of first choice uh, players now so they need to be looked after now because we don't want to get uh, injuries to any of them otherwise we'll be kind of you know we're already uh, on bare bones already so i do believe all is going to use uh, the fa cup and the cup runs to give the youngsters a bit of a chance um instead of sanchez and, and uh, matter i do genuinely believe um uh, angel gomez i know it's it's a uh, <sighs> Not Angel Gomez, yeah, I guess so. Angel uh, Angel Gomez, I think it's it's a bit of a high hopes for me, but I do hope he starts. He's he's been fantastic. I heard a lot of good things about him. Unfortunately, I haven't watched him much, but he looks like a really sparky player. But I reckon he's going to be on the left side, and I reckon Tahi Chong will be on the right side. The reason why I did not include Mason Greenwood because backup striker, I think he's going to be on the bench. He probably would most probably will come on against uh, for one of the front threes anyway. I keep him as a backup striker. He is a talent and he will be wonderful to see all three play starting, but that will mean it's too, too kind of uh, much, uh, you know, inexperienced uh, up front at least for us. So I do believe Romelu Lukaku will be there. You know, he's not... <sighs> He's not been in electric form, but he hasn't been that bad compared to what he was like against uh, while playing for Mourinho. Now, that's my lineup and my predictor scoreline. I reckon we're gonna go gung ho on them. Chelsea are vulnerable; they can be get gotten after. I think Chelsea will do the same, but we have just probably our momentum and morale is a bit more higher than Chelsea. Yes, the PSG game gave us a bit of a hit. But with the way that we are playing domestically, we're still riding high. I reckon we will concede. I, I, I cannot trust Smalling and Jones as a partnership. Um, so we will concede. But I reckon it's going to be a tight game. It's going to be probably 2-1. Not probably 2-1. I reckon it is going to be 2-1. Two, 2 United. That's my prediction. 2-1 United. Yes, you heard it here first. It'll be wonderful to knock out Chelsea. We had a tough game on the last round against Arsenal. Now we've got Chelsea. So we're going to have to play play these big teams, so-called big teams. Anyway, Liverpool's already out. If we knock out Chelsea, my God, we only got Man City. One, with all due respect to everyone else, and anything can happen in the FA Cup, we only have Man City to kind of overcome. And let's face it, Man City will get into the next round, especially if they're playing against Newport. Uh, who's you know not the greatest you know but knocking at Chelsea knocking at Arsenal Liverpool's already out I think I genuinely believe we have a chance of winning some silverware and I think Oli will make um, the FA Cup his priority um, only because Champions League fair enough we're not gonna get far it's as simple as that yes there was lots of hopes going into the PSG game with the momentum that we were on but deep in our heart I think all of us were more disappointed with the result of Burnley than the result of PSG so that says all Premiership we know it's just a top four target we're not going to catch Liverpool or Man City nobody will actually it's going to be between them two so that just leaves us, leaves us with the FA Cup and having knocked out Arsenal the holders Arsenal and now we've got Chelsea if we can knock them out that will make a big statement and I think we can go all the way through but that's it that's my uh, predicted lineup for Chelsea versus Manchester United and my predicted scoreline let me know in the comments below what you guys and girls out there think um, the score will be uh, who will start potentially? Who would you like to see start for United? And I'll, I'll catch you guys and girls on the match review, which will be dropping straight after the match on Monday. So take care.